And today we are joined by the brilliant Dr. Malcolm Kendrick. Dr. Malcolm Kendrick is a long-standing NHS GP. He's a hospital doctor and a heart disease specialist. Somebody who uh, just happens to have a COVID test, let's say they're 80 and they've got five different multimorbidities, they have a COVID test as part of the at-risk group and they're found to have COVID. They have no symptoms of COVID. There's nothing to do with COVID. You know, five days later, they have a heart attack. Say, well, let's say they have a stroke or, or whatever. Um, and then they, they're admitted to hospital. And then two weeks later, they die. They will be down as a COVID death. That will be part of the statistics. That will be one of the 60,000. COVID may have played, in fact, almost certainly played absolutely no part. They may have had no symptoms of COVID. But they will be recorded as a COVID death. So once you're into this world, you're into like, well, these statistics no longer have any meaning. They they are completely without meaning. And therefore, w- what are we to make of it? You know, especially if a number of the COVID tests, the positive tests could be well over 50 percent, up to nine out of 10 positive um, swabs could be false positives. So we're false positively diagnosing people. They go into hospital, they die and they're called a death from COVID. It's, it's completely nonsensical. And, you know, there are people, very, very high, high ranking people uh, in, in the world of epidemiology who just said, you've just sort of given up, really, and said, we've no idea what is going on. It's meaningless. We've got to get out of this somehow. And the government have painted themselves into a corner where the only door, the only exit door has got vaccine written on it. Yeah. And um, there is no other way out. You know, when, when are you going to say to people you don't need to wear masks? When are you going to say to people, you know, you can visit people in their houses? When, when, when are you, you know, you know it, there's no way out of this unless they say the vaccine works. So it's going to be approved on the, on the nod. All of them are going to be approved on the nod and they're going to be whacked into people. And because COVID, like most viruses, will become less and less virulent as it, as it goes on, there will be a huge fall in COVID-related deaths in 2021 and everyone will jump back and say it was to do with the vaccine and, and you'll never be able to prove it was or wasn't one way around and that's that's just the way it is going to be you know if, if this goes on very much longer that there will be there will be no economy left you know it, it's it's untenable it cannot continue for much longer i think we what we got to hope is that in the wreckage in the aftermath of this war um that, 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 that some people can hopefully get together and, and try and make sure that, that you know, this, the, the Great War never happens again mm. and we don't have a Second World War. But um, that's an interesting perspective. You're kind of almost kind of um, concluding this one like done, as in like, don't, don't fight it, but fight the next one. Maybe. Well, I, I don't think you can. I don't think you can fight this one. Uh, it, 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 it's it's fought. You know, science lost. You know, stupidity stupidity won. The science nil. You know, we've got the second half. So uh, you know, let's just make sure that we don't we don't end up with a with a, a treaty that leaves us ready for the next stupidity next time. Oh, then, we have to, oh, we have to try to to avoid doing such idiotic and nonsensical things again. I'm hoping you can bring bring this to a close with some optimism. How do you navigate knowing stuff that you don't like and not and knowing you can't change it? As I say to people, what I'm doing here is I'm building a cathedral. And we build a cathedral, it takes 300 years. The people who were working on it at first never expected to see it finished. But they knew that at some point it would be finished. And that the bricks that they were putting in and the arches that they were making would at one point be this great structure and and i think my approach is you just keep plodding away at it you do what you do you know you're doing the right things and and it may not be seen in your lifetime but you can't you can't expect you know you don't get glory out of it you're not going to get glory out of it you're going to get pain out of it you're going to be attacked out of it as long as you know you're doing the right things eventually the right things will be done Mm. and everybody will learn from that you know you look at people through history they didn't necessarily change anything at the time in the right direction. It took a long time for these things to move. But when they move, they do move because the underlying drives of most people is positive. Um, there are unfortunately too many people 
the negative drives you get into positions of power. But overall, I think I think we're going we go in the right direction. So that's my positivity, which is right now this war, this particular war was lost, has been lost. All right, it just has. I mean, but we shouldn't give up. We shouldn't stop telling ourselves what went wrong and why we shouldn't do it again. There's no point in just saying, well, oh well, forget it. We'll never change anything. You know, these things change. The world changes one conversation at a time. This type of conversation people listen to it may do nothing immediately, but it makes a difference and it changes things and things go forward. I know that's the case.